Now Quadrado. Long range effort from Quadrado. Pushed away by Ariola. Mandzukic. Nice height for the goalkeeper. He came off the boot of Motta. Smothering stop by Alphonse Ariola. Yeah, decent effort, Quadrado. Made his mind up to hit it. Just gets that little bit of dip on it, but a nice height. Fairly comfortable save. Well, that short pass gets her back. Verratti. Matuidi. On the block by Lichtsteiner. You've spent far too much time with me from your point of view. <laughs> Dybala. And Iguain has had a quiet first half. Kept in check here by Tia. Matuidi had gone into the centre forward position. Meunier. And he went the 1 2. And that was the idea. A shot by Meunier into the back of Chiellini. Buffon falls on it anyway. He was able to laugh about it. Best chance was probably that one for Dybala early on. And there's Dybala's pass. And clean through Gonzalo Iguain who had to score for Juventus. On the cusp of the half time interval. Now really, he had the freedom of Hard Rock Stadium. And Gonzalo Iguain took maximum advantage. 1 0 to the old lady. Well, how many times have we seen that over the last year? Those two combining. Just plays the ball. Thiago Silva complaining that he was blocked off, but really good finish because he takes it on an angle. Ariola has to move his feet one way, and as he's moving one way, he just clips it back over into the other corner. Lovely one, too. Yes, there was a bit of blocking going on to stop Thiago. And Kurzawa. Can he get in behind the Shirio? Open space for Di Maria. And it's got to be the equaliser. It is for Paris Saint Germain. Gonzalo Getsch couldn't miss from there. Well, we sensed a goal was coming. And it has fallen for the Parisians. Well, Getsch could miss. But Di Maria. He had a good first half, certainly affecting the game in this second half as well. Found himself in a good position. Good bit of sportsmanship with the goalkeeper as well. He just nicks the ball there. Kazawa reverses it back to him. Mandragora made a mistake. He tried to stop the cut, but there's the ball that he plays across. And Gedge onside. And finishing easily as Asamoah makes his dive towards the line. There's the collision between Buffon and Di Maria. Fairly comfortable finish. Gedge. Inviting angle for Pjanic. Pushed away by Ariola. Ian for another. One creative player for another. And Moise Kane. But well to lay it up to Marquisio. Excellent finish. Sweeping Juventus move. And Marchisio, in some style, restores the Juve advantage. 2-1 to the Bianconeri. Well, it's a mistake. Kazar giving the ball away, Chinti. And this time, Kane does really well. Goes past his man. Last time he tried to... Beat the two defenders. This time he just rolls it into the path of Marquisio on his weaker foot. This is a really good finish. There's only one place he can score there, and that's in that top corner. No chance for the new goalkeeper. How oh, can they line up the chance? PSG, another one. Lo Celso, he's been active. Kurzawa. There it is, 2-2, Javier Pastore. You felt it had been coming. Twice Juventus have forged ahead. Twice Paris Saint-Germain have responded. Well, that is a good diagonal pass. Now to this left-hand side, Allegri's not happy with the shape of his team. Here comes that crossfield ball again, it's... 
Lo Celso just opens himself up, plays it to the far post. There's an overload here. Kazava just playing it into the box. Barzani goes with his boot, very brave from Pastore. Just gets in between the two centre halves. Gets enough contact to beat the goalkeeper. Good header. Not sure why the goalkeeper didn't get a dive in here. Now Kane looking for the opening. Can he remain calm? Down he goes. Looks over towards the referee who has given a penalty. And Claudio Marchisio makes it 3-2. And will that prove?